Anthony Joshua takes on fellow British heavyweight Daniel Dynamite Dubois this Saturday night over in London in what on paper at least should be a blockbuster fight considering the power both of these men possess with either hand heading into this one. Uh, Daniel Dubois, the champion, uh, going into this fight comes off a career best performance in his last out and stopping the previously undefeated Philip Hergovic inside eight rounds on the undercard of that Tyson Fury versus Alexander Uzzi contest over in Saudi Arabia. Anthony Joshua, meanwhile, is currently looking like the best version of himself right now, uh, notching three straight stoppage victories with his link-up with trainer Ben Davidson and Lee Wiley down in London, seemingly paying huge dividends for him. Anthony Joshua goes into this fight as the sizable minus 435 favourite at the time of recording with Daniel Dubois coming back as a plus 335 underdog before i get into a best bet for this fight i just want to mention myself and carmine have teamed up to offer a great two for one half price deal ahead of this season's champions league even though it's just kicked off we're right in the mix right now and uh, that runs until this sunday at midnight carmine ranks as the number one overall soccer leader lifetime at wager talk well i was number one across all uefa competitions last season so great time to jump on board We've only just ended the first match days and join both of us for what's set to be a profitable season ahead runs until next summer. Uh, return to the best bet for this fight, however, and look, I'll say this, if either of these two guys connect clean in this fight, you know, especially with the power both men possess, plus the fact that neither of them uh, are elite level defensively, then this fight could not only end at any time, but also go in either direction as well. You know, both guys have that one punch fight end and power here and i wouldn't necessarily be surprised by any particular outcome in this fight that said anthony joshua does have more ways to win in my opinion you know he is the more technically sound of these two fighters um and while daniel dubois has looked good so far on the don charles he, he does still suffer from some pretty basic defensive issues uh, in the ring you know dubois has that ability to bounce in and out of range on opponents um but he's predictable in doing so, and that's something you just won't get away with under this new and improved version of Anthony Joshua, in my opinion. And possibly even more dangerous to Dubois in this one is the fact that you know he's extremely susceptible to both overhand rights and uppercuts as well, um, which are two of Anthony Joshua's you know money punches. So going back and revisiting the Philip Hergovic fight for Dubois uh, that happened earlier this year. I honestly think, and again, it's just my opinion, but I think if they ran that fight back 10 times, Dubois maybe wins two out of those 10. I believe Hergovic is levels above Dubois technically. Um, I think Anthony Joshua kind of got to, you know, get it a jail-free card by facing Dubois instead of Hergovic. Again, just my opinion. Um, and frankly speaking, looking at that fight again, I thought Dubois was extremely liberal with the use of his head in that fight. That's something I personally felt he should have been warned about on numerous occasions, maybe even a points deduction as well, as it kept happening over and over again. Um, but that's something he won't get away with this weekend against Anthony Joshua in London. Um, on top of that as well, you know, Hergovic was absolutely steamrolling Dubois in those first two rounds. You know, he outlanded Dubois in total power punches, landed by a huge 35 to 13. Uh, margin across those first two rounds most of them you know clean overhand rights as well which you really don't have to imagine too hard what will happen if Anthony Joshua gets 35 opportunities to land that same punch early in this fight so you know if Daniel Dubois comes into this one um, in that same kind of mold here uh, w which is his best chance to win in my opinion I, I believe he can't outbox Anthony Joshua he has to go on the offensive but nonetheless, you know, if he comes in here, starts bouncing in and out of range predictably, and um, throws out that lazy left jab of his, leaves his elbow high guard open for uppercuts as well, then, you know, out of the two fighters here, even though both have a realistic shot at ending this fight by knockout, Anthony Joshua just has four more opportunities to do so. He has four more opportunities to capitalize in this one. Um, with the punches on offer so I'm in full agreement with the odds here to be honest even though on the surface there does look to be some value on Dubois at plus 335 the early money back and that thought process up as well but you know we do know that Anthony Joshua has tended to be a more cautious starter in fights across recent years he likes to get warmed up on opponents you know kind of get a read in their patterns and so on so I don't see this one 
ending super early uh, because of that. But, you know, again, in my opinion, once he starts reading that bounce of Dubois uh, coming in, entering the pocket, once he realises that both the uppercut and overhand right are there for him all night as well, um, pretty much a regularity. Uh, we just saw in the Francis Ngannou fight that no fighter on the planet can survive a clean Anthony Joshua power punch then. You know, with all that said, the rating is likely going to be on the wall for Dubois in this one, and it'll very likely end somewhere in the mid to late rounds, in my opinion. So because of that, I'm going to take rounds one to three out of the, you know, out of the occasion here, um, out of the equation, just to say, uh, and look back, I looked back Anthony Joshua to win in both rounds four to six at a plus two forty, and seven to twelve at plus two thirty. Two bets in this one as. You know, I want to keep myself covered, but I do believe that's the most likely outcome here. And that Joshua lands clean with something big in those mid to late rounds. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Will Anthony Joshua become a world champion at the third time of asking? Or, you know, can the young gun Daniel Dubois claim yet another major scalp in his hometown of London this weekend? Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It's very much appreciated. Until next time, Slana Walia, and best of luck on all your bets.